What is up, you beautiful people? Stone here, and today we are back in Spirit Fair, the Farewell Edition, Part 11. Things are going great. I think the last thing we had to do is, uh, we were trying, we got the dark chocolate, we gotta deliver it to somebody, but everybody's, like, inside. I knew that was gonna be, like, his bed. Because they're, like, together, but they're to they're mad at each other still, and is it... Why Why is nobody out of their house, though? Because it's raining? Do we have to go someplace else? Well, in the meantime, what is our quest we're doing right now? Improve a tool's house by adding a desk. Yes, but in order to do that, we have to find the aluminum dragon. So why don't we kick this off by trying to find an, uh, such a dragon sentences? But where's the dragon? It said it, they were, he was someplace past the ice reef. But I don't know, and there's mines right there to discover. You know what? Let's go to those mines and see what we can see, but we gotta travel to a good spot, a good one of these bus stops, so I can teleport all the way over here, and then we can go wee whoosh. Peanut, mm -hmm. I was thinking, and you know what? Just a chocolate box is nearly not enough for a lady of this caliber, but mm -hmm. I know exactly what could complement this gift. A nice bouquet of flowers, vibrant, luscious, roses, mm -hmm. and I know just where to pick some. Ambertown Park. Don't worry, I'll show you once we're there. It's a great idea, eh? It's definitely a great idea. And again, mm -hmm. not a word. She will be completely surprised. Ambertown Park. Where in the hoo-ha is that? Hey, quit making me slip around here, Mr. Cook Place. And who wants to talk over there? We're still on our way. We're almost right there. Where is Ambertown Park? I don't know where Ambertown Park is. Is it someplace hidden? He said he would show it to me, right? Is it outside? Oh, it's all the way over here. Holy crap, but we need the fog machine to get over there. I don't know how to make a fog machine. Or the fog go away machine. And who wants to talk to me over here? It doesn't look like it's important. So, ooh, sunflowers. We're here. Kalstein Mines Discovered. It's a whole snowy mine area. Does it go underground? Most mines we've been into go up. Well, it looks like this one goes down because there's not a whole lot inside. Unless it's literally just like a cave space place. Daffodil, or what is her name? The cat. I always forget. It's, I love that she's like pinkish purple now. Hey there, spirit. What do you got to say about this place? Oh, wait one second there. You can't be here. This mine has been abandoned for 40 years. You can't just waltz in there. You don't have the proper credentials. But I love the attitude. I do see some potential in you as a future security recruit. I just need some training. Or you just need some training? I went to school for this job, you know. I suppose if you went out and got said training, I could, uh, de de deputize you. That would work, actually. Uh, a break once in a while does sound nice. Listen, go out there and train for this job. Double jump, glide, zip line around. Oh, I need zip line. And then I can come in? You need to be able to do all that before I make you part of the team. I'll see you around, future recruit. Okay, fine then. Bye bye Hey, we found the aluminum dragon! The mines, thank you! At least we couldn't go in, but we can still... We found stuff to see, and here you are! Get us there, get me there, I can't wait! So excited, what will happen? Oh, we see him in the background, we're not quite there yet! This dude is long as hell, though, wait! We just saw some... There's some more of him, right there! Oh, oh, we're here! We're here! Is Summer gonna help us with this one? Is she gonna tell us what to do again, or do we just... Go out on our own and figure it out. Oh, there she is. Hello. Oh, this. Something smells different. Don't you think? Oh, as I thought. Just, just help it, Stella. Okay, we gotta pound it on the head with our axes. With my axes. And it just watches me. Damn, one hit wonder. We did it. Daffodil, get up here. I love how it bounces on that rock, or the it's all its own ball, though. How in the frick am I supposed to get up there? Oh, hello, thank you. And now what? Are you gonna get lower? Oh no, I gotta wait for- okay, it's one of these timed majiggers. Just wait for it, get on top. But then it's gonna- it's gonna move all weird, though. And then- yeah, there we go, okay. Whew. That was a little bit of a something that just threw at us out of nowhere. Boom! We got one. What is this giving us? Aluminum, of course. What the heck is that thing? Would that have destroyed us if we weren't, if we acted any different than we did? If we just get lucky? How in the hell? Where in the hell? What do you keep doing with that, though? It's making me nervous. I don't like random tentacles coming up out the water. How are we going? Where are we, are we going back this way? 
There's nowhere else to go. It was pointing in this direction, I think. Oh, yep. There you are. How in the hay am I supposed to get up there? What the? What the what? Do I have to jump up on this little island? Is that what's going on? Oh, no. There's a thing that comes up out the water. Hey, mister. Come up out the water again. Oh, it does it go all the way this way? I gotcha. I gotcha. No! We're feeling Okay, we got you this time. Don't worry about it. I don't even need that one. We just need this one, then this one, then this one. Then we're right here, right on the back where we need to be. Boom! We got it. Bloom and more. Wait, did I not get it all? Where is it? Oh, here you are. Give me that good old little noggin you got there, buddy. Pounding you on the head. Pound it, buddy. We're saving you. We're saving you. It's for your own good. I swear is it. Wait. Jump up this. Jump up this. Don't move on me. You're fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it at all. Now we need this one. Freaking tentacle. Get out of here. Oh, no. I did. I dropped the ball, literally. The animation takes so long when you get when you get your mind pick destroyed. Hey, I heard good music, which means... Did we do the thing -a Did we do the damn thing? I don't think just yet. We got like maybe one or two more. Boom! Give me all that Illuminati. Now where are we going? Hello? I feel the rumbling. The rumbling! He's all the way back at the ship, Blasty! Blasty to the Blasty? To your domey? <gasps> Everything's going back to norm. Hey there, Aluminum Durgan! Incredible. It looks relieved, doesn't it? I wonder what it means. If we are e ever to cross this dragon's path again, I think we should help it. However, I might feel about it for now, though. I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. You're welcome, Summer. And goodbye, Mr. Aluminum Dragon. You're a beautiful creature. I will help you anytime, Stella. Stella, the dragon, I thought it was getting tamer. It seemed like we finally learned to coexist. To manage, at least. But it's really getting stronger, isn't it? Well, you know what it means as well as I do. It's time for me to go. Please, when you can, bring me to the Everdoor. I'll be fine. No, Summer! Seriously, already? Oh, man. You know who I'm going to be the super saddest about is a tool. We've had him for so long. I love that boy, but we're getting rid of somebody now. I feel like we just got rid of Gwen. I don't want to say get rid of. That just sounds mean, but I feel like Gwen just left us, and we're going to lose another valuable member to the squad. Bella, I'm not feeling so hot right now. I've got a lot on my mind. I keep thinking about my friend Zazie. Did you ever meet her? We used to organize rallies when we were younger. This picture of her and me is the only picture I have in my wallet. I've had it for over 40 years. Damn. Your Aunt Viv would murder me if she knew I didn't at least have one picture of our kids. And she adored Zaz. Everyone did. Maybe we should hang it on in, in my house. It won't get rid of the folds, but at least I won't get water all over it. So we gotta build him a picture now. And I like this. That this, I, I didn't really get this at first, like why these rocks were here. But it's cool to watch him sleep because he closes this like glass door that's right here where I am. And then this whole thing fills up with water and then he just like sleeps all submerged in the water. It looks really cool. It's like one of my favorite things in the game. Blood water again, I do not like the blood water. But the blood water means that we have to get rid of a friend. Why do I keep saying that? I don't want to get rid of them. That so, sounds negative and mean. But that's not how I mean it at all. And wait, where are we going? Is we over here? Where are you at, Summer? Here you are, St Summer. Stella, are you ready to go? Yes. Thank you. Oh, man. Why do you have to say thank you about it? Man. Are we all seeing her off? Oh, everybody's here. We gotta wait for everybody to show up. This is great. Oh, Astrid's here. Freaking um, Giovanni's here. Atul's here. Summer's here. I don't think freaking... She can't walk on her own. What's what's the, the hedgehog lady's name? Oh, I'm so bad at this. I'm sorry. But yeah, people are here. We're here. Let's send us off. Come on, let's have a nice time. Don't make me tear up again like you like Gwen did last time, Summer, please. I can't take it. We're gonna have to go through this like a handful more times with everybody. 
I really thought I could keep up with it this time. The dragon. I was certain it was calming down. I could feel it purring the warmth of it in my chest. The purring warmth in your chest there, Summer? So, so, Summer, sometimes you're just, you're, you're an entity above me. I, I don't really get what you're saying, but I love what you're saying. I guess I just did it all over again, just like my father. The dragon is a beast, indomitable if I recall my own words correctly. Whether you choose to care for it or to beat it down. Oh, what would Rose think of me? Would she be proud? Would she be ashamed? I can't help but wonder what she would have done in my stead, but I know. I know what she would have told me. She would have looked me straight in the eye. Her gaze would have pierced through the veil of my appearance. She wouldn't have said a word. She knew from the beginning. She knew the dragon would take me away. She knew I would have tried to love it and not hate it. Would she have judged me for my failure? I could have... I couldn't love it, Stella. I just couldn't. Oh man, I mean, at least you tried. You went it, into it with the best intentions. As much as I hate it, it is, it is a part of me now. I will be forever. It will be forever if I want to leave gracefully. I must accept it for what it is now. Oh, that's so beautiful. Summer, you're one of the best. I was looking forward to so many more lessons with you. You've been such a gifted student, Stella. I am so proud of you. So proud of your heart. So proud of your blossoming soul. I'm sorry to leave you. You'll have to learn by yourself. I have no doubt that you'll pull through. The only lesson I have left is to show you what we're made of. Of ephemeral starlight. We're but a few particles of thought on the vast stream of consciousness. This is the last thing I can teach you, Stella. That all things change, that all things end. Yeah, they do, but that's why things are beautiful. I think that's one of the, the more pure essence of beauty is that it's not forever. And that's why you have to appreciate it so much. Or not that you have to, but that's why it is appreciated so much. I'm so proud of you, Stella. I know, and I know Rose would be too. Thank you for everything. Oh, what last hug! Let's go! And the music! And Daffodil's face! Just, why do you always look like that kitty? Okay, now she's looking up. Here you go. Into the vast unknown. But you know you have to go there. All oh, this music right now! It hits me every time. So good. And just like that. And I found out that Owl's name is Hades because I got my cheat. I don't. I keep my achievements off so they don't bother me during recordings, but I have it. They're still on, so when I close out the game, it shows me what I've gotten, like all stored up. And it said, like, meet with Hades for the first time. So I'm guessing that Owl's name is Hades. And that's a cool constellation. I like that one. And the, is that the north, north light over there? We're just pressing it. Oh no. What's what happens now? The metastatic coil? Oh no! She has frickin' her flower. Oh man. Is it on her bed? Where is it? Is it this? Just right there? Oh, spirit flower. Oh, it was like her frickin' whatever these are. They kinda remind me of they're not sunflowers. What are these? I think they start with a C. Carthenimum something? I, I'm not a flower dude. I know some flowers. I like flowers, but there's so many different names. It's crazy. Excuse me. Have you seen Annie? She's my daughter. I think we got separated on the way here. She should be easy to find. She put her red hat on today with her nice blue beach outfit. It was her birthday present from her dad, you know? It's... Oh, Annie, where are you? Oh, no. Is she going through... Is she, does she have dementia or Alzheimer's or something? Oh man, I, I feel so bad. The, and the, does this, is this morally right also to like change my outfit to look like her, what, her daughter or her granddaughter? I already forget, but this is, oh no. Well, what was this cool place? It's, I wanted to go to negative 150, 150. To come to like this, uh, I think it's an island? Yeah, Susan's Museum Discovered. Before we go right into there though, I wanna help out 
our aunt, I think this is. Our great aunt, whatever she is to us, our cousin, something. Talk. Hello. Hey, there you are. I was scared. I thought that you had left. I'm feeling tired. We're on our way home, are we? Tell me when we're there. When we're there? What do you mean, Lo Danny's lost hat? Are we... Where do we have to go with you? Bring Alice to the Everdoor and talk to her while wearing Annie's outfit with a red hat. Oh no, another one? I'm not doing that just straight yet. I want something more positive at the moment. We've just found Susan. Isn't she like a walrus or something? Meet the big walrus lady, or maybe she's a tiny walrus. Maybe she's a pygmy walrus. I don't know. What do you think, Daffodil? Oh, snap. Oh, we're just ba barely able to get up here. You need double jump to get here. Oh, you got like an out. Is that Hades? What the hell? Hello. You's a big girl. Uh, uh, oh, great. Just fantastic. The spirit fairer's here on this god's forsaken rock in the middle of the ocean. She came all the way over here. She saw the cold, steep surface of the cliffside below with its broken ladder. See, she saw all that and thought, yes, how inviting. Surely I am welcomed here. Well, you found me. No use running from it anymore. Let me run the old tape for you. I am Spiritfarer, whose name I don't know nor care to know. I am the Collector, otherwise known as Susan. The gods in all their materialistic arrogance have played a cruel trick on me. You see, I am the collector, not by choice, but by duty. Through your ceaseless plunder of this world's very finite wonders, you will no doubt come to stockpile a collection of junk to rival the greatest garbage dumps of history. My duty is to reward this unconscionable behavior with well more mm -hmm. junk. What irony is it not? My predecessors used to ask for the accumulated bundles as payment to do who knows what with, but the job description says there's nothing about that. I am certainly have no interest in your filth. So when the time comes, show me what monstrous assortments you managed to put together, grab your meaningless rewards, and leave quickly, and pick up after yourself. Damn, lady, why did you just have to go on and on and on? I thought we had to come here to talk to you about something else. Collections? Oh, mystery claim reward? What do you mean? Three out of four figurines collected? Well, let's see. What have you got now? Looks like some kind of... Why? Why in the name of everything that is holy and beautiful do you carry this horrible thing around? It is not only offensive to my eyes, it hurts the very essence of my soul. But wait, I recognize this. Oh, oh no. I should have known from the very beginning. It's that man, isn't it, who sent you that shallow, materialistic, superficial fraud of an intellectual. He sent you here, didn't he? What a crooked, treacherous weasel. He's mad about losing his precious little wood print, isn't he? Well, now he's never going to see it again. I can guarantee it. Perhaps he can learn a thing or two about as asceticism. As uh, whatever that is, and as for this preposterously silly collection, your reward is, let's see, no, this can't be, well, the fates can't be so cruel, well, alright, just take it, take the bloody wood print, go back to the blabbering fool, just, just take anything you want and out of, get out of my sight. What are you talking about? Is there anything else, anything else that you can give me before we leave? Blackberry outfit next reward once I get four figlerines. Oh, and this all uh, there's just like if I collect a whole bunch of stuff, you'll just give me other stuff. Oh, I can collect rewards from all of these. Wait, what's a what? Give me that. How exciting! You're starting starting collecting a new type of junk. This time it's fish. They smell bad and they're all terribly ugly, yet you can't help but try to catch them all, can you? Fortunately for me, you probably won't be able to complete this collection. They are slipperly little bastards. You call them bastards? Wait, no, I want to go... Back to the collections, there's a whole bunch of more crap you can still give me. I want the necklaces. 
Broken shiny rocks, what a joy. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got a long day ahead of you. Listen, don't let me keep you, spirit fairer. You have two jobs now, finding gems and spirits. By the mm -hmm. way, who even came up with such a ridiculously sounding name as spirit fairer? It sounds terrible. It doesn't roll off the tongue like my name, mm -hmm. Susan. Mm -hmm. Susan. Mm -hmm. Susan the Collector. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, one more reward. This painting? More paintings? Oh, wow. Halfway there, finder of bright rocks. You must really love the way they look. You are amused by such mortal things and figures. Well, I'm not keeping you. Go. And that's all she wrote. So now I gotta go back to the other guy. This guy? Is he actually a weasel? Give the woodprint to the art collector in Furogawa. Will do, buddy. Back against are you. And would you like... Look at that. You've got the piece. Oh, Stella, you, this is very good. You've managed to wrestle the woodprint from the old cold hands of the hag. What ingenuity, what spunk. Yes, you'll prove to me an immense asset to all of my endeavors. Or shall I say our endeavors? Well, it is decided then. There is no pursuit left for me on this island. Therefore, I will join your little expedition. As a passenger, mind you, not as a crew member. Yes, yes, such a boat might just be the perfect gallery. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Okay, wait, I was gonna say everybody's here. Where's Giovanni? His lazy ass is sleeping. All right, all right, I know I can do it. Sure, it might tingle a bit, but well, what if it hurts? Ah, you're here, good. You won't let it be painful, will you? Oh. Okay, I don't really trust you, but what choice do I have anyways? Oh no, you're a type of bird? I thought you were a weasel. Oh, you're an owl? Oh, that's sick. But Hades is an owl. Are you closely related to Hades? Are you like a little Hades? Ha, ah, I did it. And I didn't even faint. It actually feels all right. Who knew? Well, then let's get started. What? Oh, but of course. Pardon my enthusiasm. I forgot to introduce myself. How forgetful and impolite I'm Gustav. I don't know why, but I can't exactly shake the feeling that we've met each other already. Anywho, anyhow, I'm glad that our paths have crossed on this island. And I know that together we will accomplish great things. Uh -huh. This world is part wonderful and disgusting and so is art. Truly, Stella, the gods have struck us with a grand inspiration. It is our solemn duty to elevate souls with beauty and awe. My resolve is strong, Stella. I will put together the greatest exhibit of my life. And you will help me. Oh, how grandiose it will be. Ah, but first, payment. I've been called a lot of things, but never a cheapskate. Okay. Oh, you gave me an obble. Wait, isn't that my second obble? And I can go to a place to get a reward now? <gasps> we can get an upgrade, upgrade, up me grades, up my grades, up my grades. Now, where to start? Before we start working on the uh, exhibition proper, some preparations are required. Namely, making sure we have excess proper insulations. Now, bear with me. Is the boat equipped with some sort of woodworking facility such as a sawmill? It would have numerous structural applications. Yes, how convenient. A loom would also allow us to make clothing and canvases. Is there one aboard? Fantastic. A foundry with metalworking tools also has a number of applications. Is there anything that could fit the bill? There is a fully functioning foundry. We've, you've got quite a well-furnished ship, Stella. And finally, the cornerstone of any curator's work, a mailbox. Correspondence with my fellow academics and collectors is essential to my work here. You've built a mailbox already? Fantastic! Well, it seems a couple of items are left unchecked. I'll let you get to it. And we're here at this place to get the upgrade. Oh, the citizens, I like how it tells you the ability you get before you get it, because that would have sucked if this wasn't zipline. Because once we get this, we can also go back to the mine. Oh, give it to me, give it to me. Daffodil is hungry. For adventure. Look at her. Oh, yeah, we're both going to T-pose, right? t t t t t pose Stood in there right at the end. Dude, I don't know why, but there's something about today's episode. I think it was Susan. She destroyed me. My voice is going downhill, and that is one of the reasons. It, plus, it just seems like a good spot anyway. We just got a new upgrade. Wait, hold it. Hold it to what? Wait, we got to figure out how this works, though. I can't just leave without showing how it works. Wasn't there a spot here where I could zipline? 
up and across and in between and around and around? I think right over here. How does this work? Do I just... Hello? Do I hit up? Hit down? Uh, all around? Oh, there we go. And you can go in either direction? That defies logic and physics, my guy. Wait. Hello? Oh, you gotta click up when you wanna... When you wanna zip line on something. Okay, when you're next to a line, you just hit up on the D-pad, I thought. There we go. Now we can go up. And there's other mines I can get into also. What is that? Ooh, apple pie? I got apple seeds? Learn how to make apple pies even though I already have one. Oh no, this place is locked. Can we sneak it through the window? Is somebody gonna give us a skeleton key later? I also got I forgot to talk. I gotta talk to the land the person at the uh, at the mansion. Oh no, what is happening right here? Wait, is that just like a little cool zipline functionality thingamajigger you can do? Wait, can I like jump jump zipline? Oh, you can. You can do all sorts of crafty behavior. Wait, let me do that. And then when you hit a line, it automatically disconnects you, but then I can go back and forth. You can, like, build up speed, too. This is pretty sick. Wait, is there anything... Can I go in through the... the... this part? No, you can't go in. I can't be a Santa Claus. Damn it, man. Well, okay. We're just gonna leave it out for you, then. I do hope you enjoyed. I know I sure did. And if you did, remember these three things. You're beautiful. I appreciate you, and have a great one. Bye-bye.